Hey, so what we will be doing today is another cinematic animation. If you want to see more videos like this from me, um, definitely, you know, try to support the Patreon if you can. What I'll be doing today is basically walking you through each of these nodes. I'll break it down to you and it, by the end, uh, it will be hopefully very uh, easy to understand. Okay, so I'll break this up into pieces. Um, so we're starting out with, with this section right here. So I'll connect this to here. All right. So let's break this down. Um, so first what I did was I created, I'm in a fusion composition. I created a background here. Um, this, this has black, a color of black. That's what you see in here with this here. Um, this transform node here is just to basically uh, resize this um, this black node here, um, uh, because once you're starting out, you want to you want it to be able to stretch to fill up the whole scene. So this is this is mainly what this transform node was here for, right? Um, this merge now is to connect this uh, black not black um red red glowing door. So that's what that's supposed to be. So um. So the basis of this is a background. So you start off with a red background. Um, you put a rect you put a rectangle. This is to make the shape, the overall shape, a rectangle mask, a right? rectangular mask. Then you make a next mask. Uh, I have this next mask here. Um, this is just used to um, basically uh, kind of add a, a shading to this mask. So okay. So okay, we have this mask here, right? So this next mask basically cuts, cuts off a portion of it and kind of blends it in. So let me see if I take, so if you see, okay, if I take off the mask, right, you see how it's just, it goes straight down, it's clean like this, right? But when you turn it on, it's kind of faded a little bit. So this is what it's doing. This is, this is basically masking out this, this next mask. This is, this, this is taking a piece from this mask here and it's and it's not it's um it's, it's removing the effect of it if you understand it's, it's removing what's being displayed um let me see if i could uh put show this on the side better and this will show up uh, yeah but it's not doing exactly what i want to but um basically yeah this here so this is basically kind of just cutting off this mess here to make a kind of fade in it. Um, and how you do that is bring down the level. Um, next is, next is I made a put Gaussian blur over um, the background to kind of give it a um, kind of a smooth, smooth in effect a bit. Um, you could play around with these settings too. Right? I'm just basically giving you the gist of how everything was done. Um, Next, I put a shallow glow effect. I mean, I, I in my previous um, video, I showed you how to, um, I showed you where I got this plugin. I also also put a link for this too as well. Um, next one is glow. Um, I put a glow to kind of brighten up the 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 effect on the mask somewhere um, to make it make it glow somewhere. So the shallow glow is one glow, and then this added the next glow to just. Um, Bring out, um, bring it out somewhere. Then a flicker addition is basically it. Um, you'll see a kind of um, a kind of little flickering effect. That's that's from this the flickering right there, and you know that's on top of merge merge um, node. All right. So so this this one is. Uh, so let's start with this added a next merge and this next merge here is adding the shadow on um, the shadow, but the, the overspill of the light, um, the, you know, this rectangle here is the same thing. What I was, did in this previous one, I put, I masked out a mask. If you, if that's, hopefully that's understandable. So I put a mask on the mask to, to kind of give it this fade right here. So, um, so you see, if, if you have it off, you don't see anything. You don't see that fade effect. But once you have it on, yeah, you see, okay. 
and then you, you bring you have to bring on the level right you have to bring on the level because that that basically del deletes that portion of the mask um that's here and you just bring up the soft edge right um then the background um is the red um this is the same color for this one up here um next one is is we added this this guy right here um this guy right here and um transform is basically just to position all right okay so um now what we just did we added on to this a next merge then what we did is added a shadow so we added basically the, the same node here the same picture but we just flipped it um upside down using uh this flip here you know with the transform if you, if you go into it you can see it it's flipped upside down we added a blur to it to kind of give it you know kind of shadow make it more a realistic shadow um all right then uh for this one this rectangle here this is part of the next scene so we could yeah so what's what's that doing is basically this here is uh is building on the same basic concept of what we was doing before we just basically copied and pasted um uh this from the red from um, the first red one we made and we made a white kind of like a white door um some things that i did differently is there's no opening am animation as you can see here it's just open um, I made the made the background color a different color. I made it this this color right here. All right. Um. And you know, like with everything, I say you could you could make things your own. You could change up your own settings. I'm I'm just basically giving you the the concept behind what I did. Um. Because once you know the concept, you could basically you could basically do anything. Um. So. Yeah, so it's basically the same node tree as the first one. Um, then this, you know, the same thing here. This this um, shadow, this overspill. All right. Okay. Okay. So I added a next merge, right? Add a add an X merge. So think of merges of merges of just you just when it, whenever you want to add a new thing to a scene, uh, you use you would use a merge to do it. Um, so I added an X merge. I made I used a B spline mask, right? So you can see it um, over here. It's the entire B spline. Um, then. I I basically I basically just how I how I did this for this whole scene. Um you just make the mask. I mean just you just put in the beast plane, right? And you just as you as you go along, you just move the camera and you, and you just you just move it. Keep moving the camera until you reach here. And you keep putting your um your your um I guess these pen nodes here. Alright? Um and you'll probably notice that when it's playing back at first, it's, it's not, you're seeing it kind of like, the new notes kind of like popping in, like, it's, it's not going to start off automatically like this. It's going to kind of grow along. But if you wanted to start just to be, you know, this long, um, if you understand what I'm saying, just this, this long from the start, um, all you do is delete all the, all the previous um, nodes and just keep the just keep the last the last node the last path shape animation node so we'll keep that that um that same um shape uh but that's up to you it's, it's up to what you do if you wanted to to kind of move around and stuff like that you could play around with it um so yeah um then for the polygon this polygon here is this polygon mask is basically to 
uh, mask out, you know, the beast spine mask, kind of the same concept I was talking about before. Um, so you see how it's kind of like, it seems like it's going behind the person, the, the line. Yeah, that's, that's how I do it. And you can see the, you can see the, um, the mask and everything right there. Not sure why, why is it not showing up on the, um, Oh yeah, well I guess it's it's close, but yeah, this is it basically right there. Um the background is the background is a gradient. Well I mean you could you could make it how you want it. I originally was thinking about going with a different color, but I ended up going with this green and I put a color corrector over the background and I just um I put it towards here, this green. Um then I put a Gaussian blur, a slight Gaussian blur, and um shallow glow. Then I added an X merge. Um, then I put, oh, but this, okay, this, this one here is um, kind of different. This is a next picture of this, the guy, right? But this, this time is in front of the, everything else is in front of the, the line. Um, and I, and the reason I put it like that is because if you, if you don't have this here, like say if you take it off, right? You'll notice that there's some this glow overspill. Because that's because the 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 um the previous one, the previous picture is basically all the way back here. And that's that's under the 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 spline, right? So that spline glow is still even though you're masking it out, the glow itself is still going over the um the um the, the man i mean it, it it depends what you what you're looking for but i i didn't really want it to the glow to go over the the um the picture of the man so to um to prevent that i just put an next one here then the rectangle here is to basically allow this um b spline to show through so it's, so basically this top is um it's going to be like this and then the and then um the bottom is going to show through this b spline right here Right, so if if you don't do that, then you see like everything's behind them, yeah. And then a rectangle has soft edge with it too. Um, the transform node is basically what's controlling the whole scene, the movement of the scene. Um, so I so in the start, I put it, you know, I put I put I put the X, I shifted it to the all the way to the right, and um, at the end it shifts all the way to the scene here to the left. I guess to this scene. And use keyframes, all right? I, all the key, all the keyframes, everything that I used here, I used um, I use um, you know, I use keyframes. I use um, smoothing. And if you don't remember how to smooth, you know, you just you just shift S. We you select your keyframe, shift S. Um. And um, oh, I, I forgot one thing too. Um. Also for the rectangle, um, I made a keyframe movement for for when it's open and closing. So right here, I the 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 width is is lower, and and it opens so like it has an open effect. And the same thing for for this polygon. So I did the same thing. See how smaller and opens up, yeah. And then I added color curve. Color curve is basically just to make it more contrasty. So this is my curve for it. All right, you could you could put it how you would like. Then I added a grain on top of it. Um, so that's that's how you see in this grain around it. And um, yeah, and that, and that's it. Then um, of course for for um for the transform anything that's moving, I added a a a motion blur. And this is my motion blur settings quality to end it. So for the transform, for the B spline, that's moving for the um for the rectangle at the start, motion blur. Um for the polygon that's moving at the start is motion blur. Yeah. Um yeah, and, and that's basically it.